All right. Good day, everyone. Welcome to our uh, next topic. This will be the second to the last topic before the second quarter examination. So, uh, please allow me to record again this uh, discussion because for the sake na lang po sa uban na dilik makasabit sa Zoom and kanina uh, nag-atag ng attendance no sa so, karon uh, mag-discuss na po sa inyo ang uh, topic karon all right uh, let me share this screen to you please allow me to record again this nagbalik uh, no uh, para naman makita po niyo sa inyo mga classmates okay we have here unit 5 dance related injuries and prevention uh, we have here injury risk factors, injury preventions, and stress, and injury. So, uh, it's quite far sa banat on topics. It's all about dances, but today we're talking about uh, dance again, pero it's uh, relating to injuries and uh, how we can prevent it. The popularity of dance and dance-related competitions in the recent years saw a concomitant rise in dance-related injuries. Similar to athletes, dancers are highly motivated to perform well, of course, and they will push their body to the limit, spend hours in technique training, and mastering choreography. So aside from sa mga athletes, sa mga swimmers, like for example, may nana siya, nag-practice na sila. The same po sa dancers, they perform uh, practices, several practices, para ma-perfect nila ang routine, tapos makuha nila ang uh, uh, right technique para mas dali nila buhatan o minutes sa tanawan. So, yun ana po doon. On the other hand, dancers place a high value of their uh, physique that uh, they often do not get proper nourishment, a habit that could impede their recovery. These other factors predispose a dancer to injury. So, yun, ana siya pagbili sila yung proper food. Kalimutan na nila mukha kung sino na sasayaw. So, yun, ana na siya. Muna kung sayo, masukot ang mamon. Sige na mong sayo, sige na mong sayo. Wala na ikaw ang kaon. Alright. Lesson 1, we have injury risk factors. An injury is a tissue or organ damaged due to mechanical trauma. This is the musculoskeletal structures commonly injured in a dancer that are the muscles, tendons, ligaments, uh, bukog nato, and of course, atong uh, joints. These structures are designed to absorb uh, impact, but due to a sudden change in the program or poorly performed technique. It could result in forces that are beyond what these structures can handle, according to studies. According to studies, <laughs> loading the item of 11, 11 hours. More and more adolescent dancers are getting injured. So, minani siya nagkalala. Kadagan ng dancers, kadagan ang injuries. So, this is actually a study. Tapos, essential question for this lesson, what factors in dancing increase the risk of injuries? So, kung saan mga butang na maka uh, increase the risk of injuries? So, tip, the muscles, tendons, and ligaments were more likely to be injured than the bone or the joint. So, mauna siya ang mas usually nga ma, uh, in, ma injure some intrinsic factors predispose an individual to injury and other set of extrinsic factors increase the susceptibility of an individual since intrinsic factor it's the inner one and extrinsic factor can as outside pwede ka mabanggaan sa inyong kuan kauban at Right? Can you see the picture? This is figure 5.3. This is the correct one. Kanin left. Correct one. And this is the incorrect uh, one uh, in terms of body alignment in ballet. The same pod sa 
uh, social dis social distancing <laughs> social dances dapat pili po siya magbako kay lain po siya posture prone to injury na siya so dapat proper posture para dili siya uh, dili mo madali ma injure right poor body leg alignment and technique we have the anatomical alignment and technique of the dancer are some of the intrinsic factors that commonly associated with injury. Dance requires moving the limbs in a controlled and precise manner. These movements are anchored to the trunk, which means the trunk should be stable and the spine is aligned properly. Dapat align properly siya, dili siya nakabako. Kay uh, maanad na siya maunang ma dali ra siya mabalik. So, poor spinal alignment and low trunk stability can lead to uncoordinated movements. Dapat aligo ni mong trunk. Which predispose an individual to injury. Some dance styles such as break dancing require perfect execution of a technique to ensure the safety of an individual. So, dapat na siya gamit na technique para dili sila madali ma-injured. Kung ikaw, dili ka... Kini typical nga dance a street dancer tapos magalig alig lang ka pa atchup lang ka so yun anak sa proper uh, technique yun ang kailangan kaya kung di ka kabalo uh, possible magbalik mo ang magbalik pani mo li ubutik ko yung kadera right excessive training and limited recovery impair the ability to heal and repair damaged tissues Intense technique training will most likely lead to a microscopic injury to the uh, musculoskeletal structures due, due to repetitive loading. Without proper rest and sufficient nutrition, the body is not able to rebuild the tissues and the predisposes to the answer and severe injury. An abrupt increase in training intensity will also lead to this scenario, right? Uh, Kailangan po atong body, we are not a robot, so it needs also a uh, mas stress po na siya itong mga muscles. Tapos, uh, kailangan po na ito siya i-rest. Tama rin na sa relasyon, pag kapoy na kaayo, toxic na kaayo siya, wala na joy ka ng sakit na kaayo, so kailangan ka mo take to rest para mo, to give your time to heal, char, time to heal, uh, tapos maka-recover siya, at the same time, kay uh, proper balance, uh, healthy diet para ang katong mga nawala ng mga, nahiyos ng mga tissues, mabalikan to siya and uh, matagaan o dugang ng nutrients kay kung uh, dili kayo, sige kag practice, sige kag practice, sige kag sayo, tapos sige, wala kay healthy diet, tapos wala kay kaon-kaon o nutritious ng mga foods. Therefore, uh, Sobraan na kaayon niyo sa paningkamot o training. Saon man na. Dili na nakakadaog na. Kay, perfect na kay mo routine. Pero kung ano, nagsakit naman ka. So, useless yung magpipagaguan. So, it is important na balance tanan siya. Balance siya tanan para wala tayo problema. Hard dance floor. So, this is one of the factor anong daghan o mga injuries. Because gahi ang dance floor, especially sa ballet, dapat wood tiles to shop, pwede kong wood tiles, uh, much better wood tiles siya. Um, pag naan siya yung mga spin, I mean, ka ng mga bumps or jumps ng mga ginaperform mga dancers, nag landing niya, dili kay siya gahi ang salog, dili, dili masama, dili man, uh, mabali yan, tiil. So, malayo sa kini, uh, tawag ani, injuries. So, just like sa gymnastics, uh, routine ng mga sayaw uh, natin ginagamit ng mga mat uh, provided para dili uh, mabukol ang kuan, ang, ang dancers ang performers so yun ana siya, mas prone ang injury kung for example magpractice mo sa kanang uh, lubak-lubak na sininto sa mga batuhon, so yun ana siya dapat you have to consider also your dance floor so, yun, Anna, for example, ka mo, nag-practice mo sa park, di ba? Usually, dagan ko makitaan sa park, mag-practice. So, uh, most sa ako makitaan mag-practice, dito dito sa maay sagbot, si tawag, ano, carabao, grass, ba na, dira, o bermuda, ba na, di ang park. So, yun, Anna, siya, pa, para kung naay ka ng, uh, ka ng incidents na mahita po, mahulog, matakil po, or matumba, at least, dili kayo na, uh, impact, ang factor na, 
uh, madalas atong lawas. It's because dili man kayo na naka-hard atong dance floor. So, kana po always ang gina-consider. Poor shoe design. So, this is very ano sa kanang ballet dancers o sa kining social dancers sa ballroom. Uh, the more guut siya, dali ka maluthan, dali siya matanggal, matanggal ang zipper, masamad pa noon kasi dapat tama lang. When you choose a proper shoe uh, design and shoe size, dapat tama lang siya sa imong tiil dili kay iguot tapos dili po kay luag kay dili malagpot na imong sapatos nga labi na sa mga hip hop dancers they wear rubber shoes sneakers sa so, ana siya dili mo dali maluthan dili pud mo dali dili siya dali matanggal so tama lang din siya for slip on pud siya sa so, man ani mo parting ka ni uh, indot imong sapatos pero wa na ila pala pa natanggal siya so usa kit siya sa so, ana siya Muscle imbalance, so yun na siya. Sa mga type of muscle imbalance, we have uncoordinated, coordinated, <laughs> coordinated muscle action because of an even strength between the muscle groups. For example, ang usually ang steps, kaya dali lang sa pikas. So yun na na siya. So, dali na yung pamaulan. So dapat, dali po, para doon ang pamaulan. Dali dito. Uh, Mabalance siya para naman uh, natay matawag na kini kanang tawag ani even distribution of strength sa atong lawas kay kung magfocus sa isa ka part lang luoy kay siya magkamasal patita this is attributed attributed <laughs> this is attributed to various factors such as anatomy plus technique na pagi tawag nga technique and past injuries so nakakaidaan ng mga balik dira ah. So, kaba-aware namang kadaan. So, dapat pili ni mo siya. Kabalo namang ka nga. Uh, uh, for example, nabalik na yung mong kamot isa. So, dapat pili ni always yung gamit kung, kung marami mga dance steps na kanilang ginagamit. So, dili ni mo siya i-execute. Pero, oh, na kay mga teknik na buha ito para dili siya mabalik kung pass ni mga injury. Right? For many individuals, even the muscles on the outer thigh, are much stronger than the muscles and the inner leg. This causes the patella to move slightly outwards instead of going up straight. Over time, the repetitive uh, abnormal motion of the patella irritates the knee joint, which leads to pain and inflammation. All right. Diba sa muscle na to, when we move, it is um, actually the core um, work of the muscle is uh, para makamove ta. Kaya kung wala tayong muscle, kung pukug lang ta, isang kayo siya ilihog. So, nag-perform ang muscle at muscle contraction. When we move, na siya yung ginatawag ng contraction. So, para makamove ta. So, inaana siya. Careful lang ta sa ito mga ibuwan. Tapos, uh, back to ganina, dapat bili siya excessive training. Kaya kung masubraan siya, wala siya naanad sa usual niya ang ginabuhat. Kaya na-importante yan natin warm up and cool down to recover and also to prepare your muscles for uh, possible kining heavy activities and exercises and even performances. Sayo na na siya. <laughs> Sige. Common types of dance-related injuries. So, there are two types of musculoskeletal injuries. We have acute and chronic. I say acute injuries, it occur when the mechanical force that is absorbed by the musculoskeletal structure is more than what is it is accustomed to. The onset of the pain and other symptoms immediately after the impact. Tapos, ang lahi po, in chronic injuries, mahitabo ni siya uh, due to the repetitive trauma of the body receives without enough given time to recover. Kanang wala na ipahulay. Tapos, the onset of pain on the other symptoms occur at a gradual rate, which is usually worsened with activity or training. So, kung makafeel lang of pain, try to let go. Check. Try to rest yourself naman para dili siya mag-cause uh, swelling and inflammation. Try to put an ice para dili siya sa We have type of injury in the left side here. Tapos, the cause, symptom, and prevention. So, kamunalay basa ani. 
it's self-explanatory naman siya na na siya cause, na na siya symptom, and na pa siya prevention. Ankles, sprain, dances fractures, back strain, ACL tear, and then a forearm fracture, and na siya. Type of tendinosis, patelliofemoral, ito mga plantar syndrome, tira. So, you, you will, can you read this and try to answer the paper questions? Okay, mauna yung magawa sa exam. So, ay magsaba. Sa mga nag-skip, ano nga video? Di nila ni Madungkay. <laughs> Alright. Tibial stress fracture. Analyze the pictures below and identify what kind of fracture it is. What type of musculoskeletal injury. Sena na siya. Nawa ninyo siya tarong. Chronic ba siya? Uh, Cute ba siya? Tapos unsa nga type of ano siya? Alright. Here we go sa so lesson 2. We have injury prevention. Ginawas at takay. Kapoy ka. The causes of injuries and interplay of our interplay of the factors that make an individual susceptible to injury and biomechanical stress experience the musculoskeletal structure while there are no strategies that would totally prevent injuries, the risk of getting injured and significantly reduce when the factors associated with the appropriately addressed. Uh, Essential question, what are the strategies that could reduce the risk of injuries? Kung sa'yo mga pamaagi para ma-reduce na ito, itong risk of injuries, ganina at ang i-discuss, what are those factors na makahatag uh, sa ito ag risk, uh, greater risk than in potential to para magka-injury? Karon, what are those strategies para malikaya na ito siya? Okay, program exercise training. Have you remembered sa, sa tawag na grade 11 mo? Di pa himo mo, FIPT principle that is program exercise training that includes frequency, intensity, um, T is time and type. So, it helps you program your routine in exercising before doing um, heavy activities or heavy performances to prepare yourself, tapos dapat balance siya, at the same time, recorded siya, tapos na mo'y time pace to recover, time pace para uh, to work out with that uh, strength and weaknesses ninyo. Alright? Program exercise and training, importante dyan siya. Uh, ano, dili siya, good ka ng, karong gusto kang mag-exercise, ikaw ba, dili ka gusto, so yun na siya. Dapat nakaprogram siya, tapos balance siya yan. Kay para regular ang inyong um, ano, kay kung ang lawas mo gunato madugayan siya og exercise or madugayan siya kini move og uh, kini certain movement na kana it requires uh, oxidative energy na siya. Uh, medyo sakit siya sa lawas. Whereas, kung maanad siya kada adlaw na may program activities and exercise, uh, it can easily can cope up with us the pains. Kaya naanad man siya. So, that's what the principle of kini, uh, adaptability sa mga lawas. Adequate recovery. This is what I am talking about kanina. Na Dito sa excessive training kasi, uh, it can increase the risk of factor to have an in, uh, for having an injury if you don't allow yourself uh, having that, uh, what you call, a adequate recovery. So, you have to give time to yourself naman to recover for the pain na hindi hatag sa iyan mo, ha? Charla. <laughs> so, so yun na siya. Kailangan na to siya. Uh, kailangan na to. Mag-recover. 
it's a prerequisite and it's an obligation na to para naman dili siya dili ano um, dili mga over fatigue atong lawas sa iyang anak siya all right next is appropriate environment so di ba isa sa factor ganina is katong dili ano nga environment ah uh, balasun matuhon ah uh, kagag mga lansang ana good risk of injuries so dapat na tay appropriate environment kinlo tapos ah uh, dili siya maka for example dili siya makadungag og factor ba nga ma-discrasya ta for example na mga hulog imbes mabuko lang ka tapos na pa jud siya lansang apo siya bato batuhon siya so double triple na ang kanang problema na to so in ana siya ang mahita ko Okay, very good. Sorry lang. <laughs> sige, sige. Let's proceed to proper footwear. So, mauto siya. Dapat tama imuhang uh, sapatos o footwear. Uh, tama imong gina... Yan, <laughs> it is horrible. <laughs> sige lang. Don't pressure yourself. Ano lang good. Tapos yung kapuyo nung magtanaw ng video, onya na po, ano lang. <laughs> onya lang po, okay. See, I, I will try to have a lot of chicas here para naman na uh, very ano siya, entertain di lang tamang si. Pero, I'm quite sleepy na talaga. It's almost 12. <laughs> kapuyo bitaw class. Kapuyo siya. Sabi na karoon, dagag deadlines sa grades. Tapos, okay lang ang taas siya mag-encode of grades. Kaso, uh, o problema ka, kagag may mag-graduate. <laughs> Pero puti, ano po na? Sana all puti. Char lang. <laughs> Sige, proceed tau. Eh. Proper warm-up and technique. So, it is very important to have a proper warm-up and technique because, ikat akong ginaingon, na kung mo dito ka salang sa imong lawas wala kay andam wala ni mo na ready mo lawas so what will happen dagan ka pa maul so inana siya so for example kana the same good kung mo dito ka salang sa exam wala ka na ready wala ka kay study so imong score <laughs> ajus at 38 38% lang what you got with 25% Ah, so stress. Aba, Joy, naka-16%. Ano na? Laban la. Laban pa ba? Sayang sa tuition. Sige lang. Sige, nana siya. Then, proper technique. So, katong ngingon na. Na yung mga lisod ng mga butang. I mean, na yung mga lisod ng steps. Bang, sayang kita na ako sa ilahang. Tapos, pagkita ang muhi mo, man, lisod bang kayo siya. Ay, gana, kaya lang mo ito na ba? Pero pagkita ang muhi mo, lisod kayo siya, eh, sayawon. Man, mana siya. So that's what we call technique. Na sila technique ang ginabuhat. Tapos, uh, aside from, uh, dali lang siya tanaw. Dali siya, ay, dali lang siya buhat doon. Pero dali siya tanaw. Uh, it can prevent also na malayo ta sa kining risk of injuries. Sa so, inyan, siya. So, so kung, inyan, siya. Kung andam kasi mong sarili, so dili bisag masakitan ka at least ma-adapt da yun nimo kay uh, ka ready man ka as you have your proper warm up naman so ma-lessen siya tapos tapos yung technique so wala na jud siya wala na siya na totally wala siya pero at least wala siya gap <laughs> basta oy oh na na siya bitaw <laughs> seryoso cross training Many dancers feel stress because they are pressured to be perfect. Sayon anak siya, don't be pressured to be perfect. Uh, the inability to manage stress leads to fatigue and burnout, which can be associated with injuries. Cross training is a type of physical training that is different from what they usually perform by dancers. So it helps maintain their physical fitness but also minimizes the mental stress that is associated with dancing. So kaning cross training ano ginatawag na dito good sa excessive training as you have uh, observed uh, di ba 
uh, si Reshek training, si Reshek training, wala na niya ginalaw yung self to have a recovery. There is a cross training, na siya yung mga ginabuhat, aside sa sige siya practice o sayaw, na siya yung ginabuhat, nga lain siya nga exercise for uh, kini allow niya yung self to kanang kuan po, adapt with other uh, physical activities, not only nag- nag-focus lang siya sa, sa training sa sayaw, but also, for example, sa other food physical activities and physical aspects na pwede siya maka-benefit. So, yun na siya. Pwede siya yun na. Exercise, swimming, other sports, jogging, push-up. Push-up pa ni siya. Pura mag-nag ko. Char. Pag-a-glaps. Bitaw eh. Sorry. Bitaw. Seryoso. Okay. Early recognition. Alright, early recognition. Pain is good indicator that he, there is some damage in the tissue. So, pag makafeel na pain therefore, uh, nag-work atong muscle. Kaya nga naman, na na may kanang inflammation nga na itanggot ito. So, kasagot, nag-work na siya. Kaya naman kay pain. So, na, na, na ato siya damage gamay. Kaya naman siya pain. So, yan na siya. No pain, no Okay. Diba? Pero meron naman ang sakit. Sige na na siya. However, dancers or athletes tend to have a higher tolerance of pain. So, kaya na na. The more ka nga, labi na ng mga professional dancers and athletes. So, naragod na siya paid. Pero, the same gap ng pain na may ma-feel na to. Sakit na nga. Regular lang nga nag- uh, dili kay uh, usually nagasayaw sa ilang uh, usually sila nagasay the same lang ang pain what is the difference is na na sila high tolerance of uh, for pain na na dahit mo so yun <laughs> it's only when the pain becomes intolerable that they could consider consulting a physician. Pag di na dyan makaya, so dapat i-consult na siya for doctor. If symptoms persist, consult your doctor. At this point, the condition has worsened. Uh, the only remedy is to complete rest and medication. So, na na siya. Allow yourself to have complete rest and medication. Uh, ayaw palabi. Ay palabi pa yung press. <laughs> Mamatay raga punta. This can be avoided if dancers recognize the pain early and seek medical advice. Kung na na mo yung ma-feel, early stages pa lang. So, yun na siya. Ayaw siya i- don't tolerate that pain. Try to take medication tapos rest para makarecover siya. So, damaged body tissues sends out messages to the brain as soon as the body part is injured. So, makafeel man tag-sakit pag nanasay ka ng... Is later niyo siya, sakit naman siya. So, mag-pansay siya kung ah, nga. Ah, sakit siya. So, nanay ka ng kuan. Something na nahitabo dira sa kuan. So, that's the work of nerves. Ang tawag niya, darita, once the system is made aware of the injury, it sends out resources to stabilize the injured area. Clear the damaged tissue and replace it with a new one. The general term na anang a response is what we call inflammation. So, it's coordinated response of the body to injury and it's first step. For example, no? Sa, na, nagka, ano ka, nagka, swell siya. Essential nerves, ang nerves, essential ka na sa, sa imo. Ah, uh, brain, tapos ibang brain, magkakarag siya ka uh, signal para uh, mo perform all such duties and responsibilities. Na ikuan ang mga muscle tissues na damage, pag butangan niya gilain nga katong kuhan, heal niya. So that's what we call inflammation. Sayan so, anak siya. Uh, wait sa ha. Hello sa charger. Sa laptop. Alright, sige. Let's proceed to Dance athletes can train physically to decrease the risk of injury. Aside from technique and skills training, dance athletes should include physical conditioning into their training regimen. 
So it is necessary for the dance athletes to have high fitness levels to sustain long training periods and reduce the risk of injuries. Also, the performance will be better if they have exceptional fitness levels, which physical fitness is composed of several components, which are classified either health-related skills or, I mean, health-related fitness or skills-related fitness. Okay. I guess it was explained in your grade 11 well, the difference of this health-related fitness and skill-related fitness. Ang health-related fitness, it's um, itong mga fitness na pwede ma-acquire sa atong lawas uh, by means of what called uh, biologically, pwede siya hereditary, uh, pwede po siya ka ng true sa ato ang balance, I mean daily life. Ang performance related uh, fitness or what we, go, what we call skill related, this is uh, pwede natin na siya gain through training, consecutive training and uh, in exercises. So, let's differentiate. When you say cardiovascular endurance, it's the cardio. It's what we call heart. So, ato lang yung kwanan na kay Kabalok o bright na kayo mga si grade 11. So, cardiovascular endurance. When I say cardiovascular endurance, it talks about cardio, which means heart. So, it talks about heart. What's the work of heart? It's to pump blood throughout our body para maka-receive siya o maka-distribute of nutrients sa atong lawas. So, it is very important to have this cardiovascular endurance because it is effectively distributed the oxygenated blood to the working muscles. So, nanana siya. Pag, car, pag well, ano mga imuhang uh, cardiovascular endurance? Uh, the kining proper imuhang kining distribution, well, distributed imong blood, tarong imong pagkang. Kaya pag, for example, kung uh, gamay ang muscles sa imong heart, so, possible, ano siya, ka ng dali na kahangakon, sumauna ka ng mga asthmatic persons, inana siya. Inana, usually ilang symptoms. I, I mean, ilang kaning mga sakit. So, usually, gina, engage sila sa swimming because swimming is one of, of the exercises to develop cardiovascular endurance. Jogging, brisk walking, tapos, what we call Pwede na siya walking, cycling. So, that's our examples of exercises na pwede makadevelop sa yung cardiovascular endurance. When we say muscular endurance, it is the ability of the muscles to generate the maximal force to sustain contractions for prolonged periods. Okay. Ang say kalahian niya sa muscular strength. Ang muscular endurance and muscular strength, for example, ang muscular strength, you can able to uh, alsa, what do you call that in English? Uh, alsa. Kasi <laughs> tawag ka na sa English. Kanang maka-alsa ka. For example, what I carry. You can able to carry, what, 50, 50 kilos? Ano? You yeah, can able to carry, carry, carry. Hindi <laughs> ka 50 kilos na bugas in one setting. So, sa kasako, that's 50 kilos. So, that's what we call muscular strength. Pero, when we say muscular endurance, alsa ka og isa kasako sa isa ka oras. That's what we call muscular endurance. O ha? Generate maximal force. That's muscular strength. Pero pag sabayan na siya, o to sustain contractions for prolonged periods, that's what we call muscular endurance. Aside anna, for example, gana, uh, gusto ko pa abs. Uh, I want to have my abs, you know. Tapos, first training ni mo, first training ni mo, one, uh, uh, curl ups ni mo, kini exercise, one, two, three, sakit na pagka three, sakit na mo ang abdominal area. Pagka four, hundred pagka five, di na siya kakabangon, sa na siya, sakit siya. Because, wala mananad yung mohang lawas. So, with the help of muscular endurance, uh, 
it could develop, uh, I mean, it, with the help of repetitive actions, it can help develop your, what we call, muscular endurance. So, hinahinayan mo na siya, karun nga adlaw, lima ka, curl ups, hantun, magkadugay, magkadugay, magkadugay. Daghan ay muhang, ah, uh, tawag ani mabuhat it's because that's the principle of muscular indoor in, indoor <laughs> endurance talk and uh, uh, says na for example uh ma endure na sa imong muscle ang ang pain nga ginahatag sa iya ma matoler, tolerate na sa imong muscles therefore uh kung i-relate ko na to siya sa love life na no? oh, sigra ta relate sa love life no Say so, anak siya. The more masakitan mo ang sarili, the more mang siya mo manhid. Say so, anak siya. So let your uh, self uh, pay, uh, feel the pain. Uh, dapat minimal lang po siya. Dili siya kanan po. Sobra. Kaya kailangan na na siya medication o yung check up. So yun anak siya. Minimal pain lang. Tapos sakit man na sa primero. Tapos sakit siya na siya. <laughs> Tapos kanan po. So, uh, the more kasigig exercise and uh, perform and uh, maanad na mong lawas, so ma-endure na niya ang pain. That's what we call muscular endurance. So, say flexibility. So, sige daw, B. I will let you perform this para makabalot sa flexibility. So, inaanay siya. So, ganyan yung kamot. So, pangitag kamot ako. So, inaana siya. Tapos, inaana siya. Nakuha ninyo, para o, oh, anak man ano, kay po kwarta, si anak sa kili, tapos si anak siya. Tapos, ituyok siya. Anak, tuyok. Ah, sakit. So, balik ta, anak. Tapos, ito, italikod na to ang duha. Ano, tapos si anak na to siya rin. Tapos, ituyok siya rin. Ah, uh, sige daw. That's one indicator of uh, flexibility. So, pasabot, if naka-feel ka o pain during ato na activity, so pasabot, you are not flexible. So, kulang pa dyan yung mga, uh, mga kanang exercise training. So, pwede siya, kung saan nang pagka-develop sa flexibility na to, it's stretching. Ginagmay nga stretching, tapos dili sige higda, dili sige cellphone, cellphone. Stretching, stretching para allow yourself para to perform daily tasks and maputin mo yung mga wide axis without any pain. So, common misconception of flexibility. May notong, ay, flexible na siya kay how siya mo split. Flexible na siya kay how siya mo bending. So, kanang bending yung ginatawag niyo. That's the proper term is bridge. So, inana siya. By the way, before ko makalimut, Ari ko na-remember. So, I often uh, kini-hear some students, like, ano yung on na, uh, um, saan ang stepping, ani sir? Ang saan ang stepping? Ay, guys, mo ni ang stepping sa kong sayaw. So, I don't want my students nga mugamit ano nga word na stepping because stepping is a verb. Uh, dapat, uh, kini- so, itawag ane, kini, the proper way of using correct term is steps. So, guys, mao ni ang steps karon na sayo. So, dili kay guys, mao ni ang stepping ani. So, I gusto ko, after ani na kini, so, itawag ane, na lesson na to, mao man itong lesson sa grade 12, sa dance, uh, dili ako gusto makadungog sa inyo mga Moingan-ingan mo. Uh, guys, mauni ang stepping sa itong sayaw. So, dili na siya yung ana. So, bantay lang mo. Madunggan ka mo. So, by the way, balik sa flexibility. So, yun ana siya. Dili siya pasabot na how ka mo split. Uh, flexible lang ka. So, we can able to become flexible. Ang pasabot lang sa flexible is maglihok-lihok ka sa ginagmay ng mga butang para maka stretch stretch ka madili siya sakit body composition what we call about body composition is the extra fat sa atong lawas dapat balance lang imong fat us imong muscle ana na siya when say power it's katong kakos ganin mo ang speed nimo is the formula of speed if i remember distance over time tama pa siya 
kung sa kalayo on this time, tapos i-divide na siya sa time. So, mga na siya pag-compute sa speed. The same nag na siya sa, that's a formula according to physics. But remember, correct lang po rin sa comment section. Alright, coordination. Uh, when we say coordination, uh, for example, uh, sayaw ka o uh, ballroom. So, dapat mag-coordinate imong tiil, imong mata, uh, tapos imong lawas. Dili man pwede, pasabot, uh, dili man pwede nga. Imong tiil lang maglihok, dili apil mo uto apil apil mo kamot yung mata sumabangga so, kas nganan siya dapat magcoordinate well imong lawas magfunction siya tanan so balance that's great factor nga nakay balance in terms sa sayaw dali ka mga tumba maka dali siya maano sa injury so uh, pinaka importante kabantay mo uh, physiological function sa atong arms is for balance kasi siya. Kabantay mo pag maglilakaw mo ngayon, pili mag-wave-wave niyong kamot, uh, lisod siya ilakaw because isa sa physiological function sa atong arms is to maintain balance and posture sa atong sa atong, sa atong uh, physical appearance. Dito dali matumba. So yun, ana siya. Agility, when I say agility, uh, pas-pas siya pero dali siya maka-change of direction in out. Dali siya malalipong, dali siya matumba. Sinana siya. Usually, ginayimbuhat niya training is sa soccer. So, it is very important but also sa sayaw. Kay, for example, na mga steps na mag-cambio-cambio dahil So, dili siya dali ma, uh, matumba. Dili siya dali, dili. For example, kung paspas, kailangan kung paliko siya, dapat paspas siya. So, inana siya. Reaction time. For example, when you say reaction time, uh, kung ano ito, ruler test, Ah, uh, nakawala man ang ruler dali ako eh. Kanina lang notebook. So, for example, that's a ruler. Ah, uh, for example, sa reaction time, ka-familiar mo ng dula ngayon na na. Kaya nasa ruler, for example, ruler siya tapos iana ni mo dali. Ihulog sa imong classmates, sa imong kaoban, tapos salo ni mo siya. So, kung masalo ni mo siya, well, ano imong uh, reaction time, pero pag dili siya, uh, loading mo na yung ginatawag na ito, uh, loading o tangaon. So, for example, pag mag-start na music niya, ma-iwit siya, ma-delay siya. So, great factor ang reaction time, especially sa sayaw, tapos kani siya sa kanang mga sports nga naa siya, kanang, kanang baril-baril good, ay baril-baril, I mean, kanang, kanang timer good, kanang starting point. For example, magkandungog siya, buto, sundagan, sa swimming pool, ang back dive. So, kung kulang yung reaction time, uh, maka-influence na siya yung performance. Okay. Gwapa ba? Sana ta. Stress and injury. So, we are now on the last lesson. The unit 5. Body image. The dancer uses his or her body to visually create lines that an audience, audience, audience can appreciate for a distance. A dancer's physique can be enhanced these lines. However, a dancer tends to worry about whether his or her frames enhances or detracts the audience from seeing those lines. So, kana siya, dapat ka na ang figure sa onda. <laughs> ang figure niyo ka ng, well, ano siya, dili ka tumutong pa rito. Kung magbalik ka, bako siya, dapat tarong yung figure para nindot siya tanahon sa layo. Technique, kabalo na mo, ani. Uh, performance, of course, Coming audition concert, increase feelings. Feelings and performance. Some movements of choreography. Remember our movements of choreography formations of partners. As I have observed, all of your performances, uh, na pugus lang muna ka sa iyo. Bismillah, that's understandable naman. Tapos, ang uba na po yung kanang nalinaw siya siya lang maayaw sa iyo. Injury, a recent survey showed that upward trend injuries among dance as athletes. So, and it's just stress and risk of injury. So, siya. A survey reported that a dance can drive perfection leads to chronic musculoskeletal uh, injuries. Kanang gusto siya ma-perfect siya. Sige mo siya training. So, taas yung potential na magka-injury siya. Sige mo siya practice. So, let's proceed here. Some tips to minimize stress. 
accept that you are unique no try to accept yourself that this is me i don't need to copy and imitate other people uh i don't need to become what they are because this is who i am this is what i uh i am and i am living with this uh, uniqueness that i have so yun ana siya be happy of what you possess and work on your weaknesses so stop comparing yourself to others because uh we don't know uh someone also is ano kining looking on us uh and ana siya so try to love yourself invest in training and enhancing your technique of course you have to uh kini give time para uh for training because what we call uh si tawag ani kada kini tawag nila nga no pain no gain so in ana practice makes perfect that's actually the greatest principle of all so lain pul mo salang kada gusto ka ma-achieve ni mo na nya tapulan kita sa gira ka cellphone sa gira ka ginda nalala go nagsa gusto ka mamayat nya Hmm, so, kung mayat, pero wala kang ibuat sa iyong sarili. So, yun na na siya. Prepare your mind and body to for performance. So, yun na na siya. It's very important na dapat prepared ka para less hassle, less stress na ma-feel niyo sa iyong mga self. Perform breathing exercises. You can inhale. Exhale. So, yun na na siya. But don't forget, breathing exercise activate the parasympathetic nervous system and stimulate relaxation. So if you feel ano na siya kanung wala ka kasabot, so try to breathe deep. Huh? Char. Protect ko ada rekord. Experience the joy when you dance. Of course, para dili mo mas stress sa mga tasks kaya gihatag na ako. Mao niya ni. Experience the joy when you dance. Dapat, i-feel lang ninyo, dapat, ano, i-feel lang ninyo, i-feel lang ninyo. Pero wala, sir, was stress nga po, please, sir, amot ni mo, sir. Did you know that setting a high personal expectations and being over-critical about one's performance can cause stress and injury? So, ano, gusto ko ma-perfect kung performance, gusto ko yun, ano, gusto ko, 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 Ah, uh, ano na to become a uh, be I mean be perfectionist. Kay unin makahatag sa ato og ganang kuan stress. Eating disorders among dance athletes. Sige sige practice, wa na sila ma kanang wa na sila tarong kaon usahay pod ang uban kay dili gusto na manambok kay uh, lain tan aun daw yung ana yung ana ang ilang gusto. So, natay mga ginatawag ng eating disorders, right? Tulukatype, anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, anorexia athletic. So, kung naabot mo ka ron, take note with this. Kaibutan na ko sa exam. Exaba sa mga nag-skip. <laughs> anorexia nervosa, It is a common characterized by self-starvation because of an intense fear of gaining weight. So, baala gutong na kaayo. Hindi lang sila mo kaon. Ano lang. Bulimia nervosa is a condition characterized by overeating followed by self-induced vomiting due to excessive feelings or guilt. Gusto kayo mo kaon. Gusto sila mo kaon. Pero makafeel sila guilt. Lodo, ganun ang gikaon. So, magahin mo sila guwey para masukat o nila ilang gikaon. So, ginakulkog na ilang kong para na masuka nila ilahang kuan. That's what they call bulimia nervosa. Ang anorexia atletica naman, it's a condition characterized by excessive exercising because of an intense of fear of gaining weight. Sige na lang exercise. O air ka ayaw. Nga na siya. Kaya maadlog siya manamgo. Pwede na rin payata ni Wang King na kayo. Ahay. Among these orders, among dance athletes are counterproductive with a long run. While it is true that weight loss would positively affect performance, actually, the advice effects will outweigh the short-term gains. So, dapat proper balance. Tama-tama lang, good. Ayaw ka ayaw. 
poor nutrition and dietary habits will significantly affect recovery and will continue to fatigue and poor immune function. So, kailangan balance ang nutrients and vitamins nga na itong matake sa itong lawas. Labi na karun, na we are experiencing pandemic, so we really need vitamin C para muli ang itong immune system. system, system. Okay? Just exchange. These are the following, identified following time signs and symptoms of eating disorder. The drastic change of weight, edema or bloating, cessation of menstruation greater than 3 months. Nana, di ba? Kone niya ang kuan, nana, kuan mo sa eating disorder. Frequent muscle cramps, sigara kag bikugan, sigara kag pamaulan. Dizziness, dalip ma lipong, thinning of hair, gastrointestinal problems, sakit imo ang kuan, or feeling imo ka ng bloated ka, permanente ka ng bloated ka ng sigara kag pandog, abahal lang ka, isang nana siya. Masamad na nang imuhang buwan na nang makikaon-kaon. Avoidance of eating in public. So, di na kaganahan mo kaon. Frequent checking of weight. Sigara kag timbang. Halos kada oras si timbang. Evidence of self-induced vomiting. Siya na nang. Dietary tips for dancers. If you want to become a good dancer, you have to follow these solid dietary tips para naman mabalance imuhang nutritional intake. Total calorie intake should range from 2,000 uh, calories to 2,500. Uh, this is advisable. Uh, eat frequent small meals throughout the day. Frequent siya. Ayaw siya bawasa. I, ano lang, ayaw siya kwa, wala sa imong routine. Kundi bawasan lang ni mo siya. Ano lang good yapon? Maura yapon good ang kanang frequency sa pagkaon. Pero... Pili itong usual nga kung tagtulo na kaplato, kung tagtulo kaplato sa una, isa lang sa, or dunga lang sa, tapos ang tag isa lang sa, yun, ano lang, ayaw dyan siya totally wala. Breakfast that contains protein and whole grain carbohydrates. Mukha ko dyan ka dapat o breakfast nga na ay protein. What are those fish, carbohydrates, uh, rice. Drink water at regular intervals before, during, and after training. Drink 250 ml of water every 15 to 30 minutes during a long training para mga dili ka ma-dehydrate. Kaya itong mga nanggawas na singot na mo, mapulihan siya. Eat complex carbohydrates. That's example, baked potato 1 to 2 hours before training. So, ayaw po itong kaon ka rin niya. O pag anong minuto, nag-training na kasi sakit siya sa, sakit na sa tiyan. Pwede masuka na ni mo. So, allow to yourself sa ma- Maano siya, ma-digest, tapos uh, inana siya. Uh, eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables to maintain micronutrients and electrolyte balance. Of course, this is required. Electrolyte drinks such as sport drinks are recommended during long time training hours. Pero kung di ka gusto mo inom ano mga electrolyte drinks like Gatorade, Cobra, mainana siya. Pwede mga magkatong kuan. Uh, water, tapos na ititino. That's, uh, ano siya? Pwede siya, ano? Lain laglasa. Avoid caffeinated drinks because it induces urination. Caffeinated, masama na siya mga caffeinated coffee, uh, so na, soft drinks. Among male and female athletes who are the most prone of for eating disorders, why? For me, uh, babae. They're very particular. Alright, let's go to wrap up. Wrap up, wrap up. An injury is tissue or organ damage due to mechanical trauma. There are common factors among dancers of an injury. There are two types of musculoskeletal injuries. We have acute and chronic. There are sources of stress for dance athletes. Being perfectionist can cause injury and rupture sa bulimia nervosa, anorexia, atletica are the types of eating, of this, uh, eating disorders. Another, another plus, another plus, and naabot mo diri ako, wala mo nag-skip sa video. Try to copy this. I will include this sa exam. 
true or false. Exaba. Next. Answer key naman yun. Glossary. Okay. Try to familiarize this glossary again. <laughs> and it's just identification. I will be getting items here para sa identification. That's a technique, you know. Okay, may napabright ka na yun. Kawai sanay na siya. Kailangan na dyan niya para mapasar na dyan. <laughs> Laban na guys. Ti ilang ni. Sige, sige. Okay ha, don't forget to eat a lot of fruits. Ano siya mga fruits? Grapes. Sa panin siya. Mga vegetables. Ano sa panin siya? Saging. You wanna eat saging? Para happy ang life. Ano man pagmukha ko tag saging, mga happy man ka, mawala ang stress. Because ang saging na siya ay endorphin. And that's a happy hormone. Isa na siya sa katong kasi tawag ang elements ka na sa Enervon. Alright. I will not be giving you activity for this. Wait. 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 Just answer the quizzes and quiffer ng gihatag na ako. Uh, check, 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 check ang quipper para dili siya ma uh, kuan. Dili mo ma makurat-kuratan <laughs> sa kadagdan. Uh, di sa ako maghatag ka sa congratulations. Di sa wala sa tayo activity ka ron. Nga uwi. Yay! So, butan ko ka ron, Char. Always na but. Diba? <laughs> ano na life. So, I guess that's all for today. And don't forget to subscribe. Char. And tapos kini comment dan sa comment section para makabalo ko nga nagtan-aw na mo. So, manotify mo ko nga nagtan-aw na mo ano nga video or dili ko ma-worry. So, bye. Love you, everyone. So, happy weekend. Bye, bye, bye. Shout out. Alay, sunod na ito mag-shout out. Char, lang mo. Vlogger, no? Shout out.